The DoD has given its new AI-piloted fighter drones official Air Force designations, marking another big step toward getting these jets into service. Now, these unmanned fighters from Anduril and General Atomics were awarded Increment 1 contracts by the Air Force last year to be matured into what we call Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs, that will fly alongside upgraded F-35s and new 6th generation fighters in the not-too-distant future. Anduril's Fury, as we've long known it, is now officially designated the YFQ-44A, with its sibling from General Atomics now known as the YFQ-42A. In this context, the Y denotes that these are prototype aircraft, meaning the Ys will drop off once these jets go into production. The F, of course, stands for fighter, meaning these aircraft are meant to engage in air-to-air -air combat, and the Q denotes the vehicle type, in this case, unmanned aircraft. That A at the end of each tells us the series or iteration of these designs. So when these jets actually enter service in the next few years, they'll be known as the FQ-44 and FQ-42, respectively. Andrel's FQ-44's been in development in one form or another since the late 2010s, when it was first designed by a firm called Blue Force Technologies as a Red Air fighter drone meant to emulate the highest performance fighters of adversary nations for training engagements. In 2023, Anduril purchased Blue Force Technologies and gave this fighter drone a big boost in both autonomy and performance, converting it from a training jet meant to pretend to fight into a full-fledged fighter capable of performing 9G maneuvers and cruising at high subsonic speeds of right around 0.95 Mach. General Atomics FQ-42 also began as a drone meant for different duties. It started as the XQ-67A offboard sensing platform. General Atomics is really pioneering a method of using modular systems like landing gear, flight control computers, and more that are shared across multiple drone designs, allowing for a lot of flexibility in things like stealth, range, performance, and payload, all while sharing the same basic components to keep costs down. Now, the Air Force intends to buy at least 1,000 CCA drones, but may only purchase 100 to 150 of these first increment fighters, with increment 2 contracts on the way that seem to be more focused on air-to-ground operations instead.